Welcome back. So we were stuck at this point where the port macro.h was not found. And what we had done was created this file uh, freeartosconfig.h and we had provided like the width for this, uh, the tick the tick type. So there are a few things to understand uh, before we proceed with the port and this will just kind of you know give you a sense of or the idea of why we are doing what we are going to do okay so we had then um, let me just pick a pen here okay so we had this cpu which is the m3 and we had like some code that would kind of get it to boot and our intention now is to take free rdos and run on top of this integrate so to speak now understand that free rdos has the kernel it has the scheduler it has the capability to create tasks uh, lists and whatnot, you know, queues, semaphores, uh, mutexes, all of those heap, those kind of things are available with FreeRTOS. But the question is, how does FreeRTOS understand how to go about doing context switching for this given CPU? So it turns out that, like any, uh, you know, library or framework, uh, there would be or there are certain dependencies which are left out. For the developer to implement right? and one of those things is some macros functions and type defs that the user need to provide so then you know what we are going to do now is go ahead and find out how to uh, you know add these now i'll also tell you a secret uh, well a secret or a hand wavy thing here so we can go ahead and do a raw port in which case we implement everything and in my opinion we don't have to do it just yet so i'm going to lean on the pre-existing port functions some of them and the reason to that is uh, the focus will stay on free autos and not go into uh, exploring the details of the m class cpu and that like the, the details of the m class cpu we have covered as part of other courses so our intention would be to use minimal files to get the kernel going and once that happens we can go back to the port uh, the the pre-existing files and then understand them reverse engineer them and understand why okay why was this um, you know written or done okay then so now our hunt is for the port macro.h and because of my let's say experience prior experience with free autos um, we are going to go to the free autos kernel go to portable then go to gcc and then within that go to uh, arm cm uh, arm underscore cm3 and you will see this port.c and port macro.h so we'll need both of them but for now let's just explore port macro.h so what you'll find here is certain hash defines and you will find certain type defs and then uh, at the bottom here there are you know few macros that relate to that have let's say the assembly instructions um, and uh, yeah pretty much that there are few again hash defines that map onto like a function or a macro so things of those nature are included here and if we were to not use this file we would need to implement all of these on our own so someone has done it for us the m3 folks who wanted to add support uh, for m3 processors if free autos they have done it for us so we are just going to go ahead and leverage it at least right now so how do we then go about telling free autos or this build system to go look for the port macro.h well the answer is uh, we'll just need to extend our list of inclusion paths so let me then go ahead and take a look at um, the port that i have already done and then copy that line right here and this is just so that you know you, i don't waste time in typing and the focus remains on the crux which is porting the free autos okay so then i have included this exact path which is from the free autos kernel go to portable gcc arm underscore cm3 and once you're there we save it 
and then let's go ahead and do make clean and do a make okay so some other errors more errors but not the same as port macro not form or uh, port macro dot h not form perfect so now what it is saying is hey i found this portable uh, dot h and actually that was the file it was complaining about not port macro dot h uh, it was complaining about let, let me just quickly see what was it complaining about okay let me correct my statements by just just doing a short a, a quick experiment i don't recall what i exactly okay port macro dot h and it says okay portable dot h uh, okay that needs port macro dot h and so the port macro dot h was here okay and then what we did was we added this path and then uh, port macro dot h was found and then we ran into more errors okay perfect so now it is complaining that hey in the port macro dot h i'm looking for this config which is called the syscall inter priority and yeah you know this is not found so anything that starts with a config that is free rtos kernel configuration and that will go here okay. so the question is okay we need to provide and hash define uh, uh, hash define and we are to assign it some value right? this macro needs to have some value so i'm going to give it a value of one and from what i understand a lower number is higher priority i would encourage you to go ahead and take a look at the documentation and somewhere within that documentation it's it talks about um, what does the priority macro mean and lower number means higher priority or higher number means high pri higher priority so from what i recall lower number is higher priority so i'm saying hey syscall has the priority of one okay perfect i have done this and uh, let's go ahead and do make clean and let's do make clean always because we do not want the build system to use previously built uh, object files which might have like stale code so or stale configuration related values okay so at least uh, you know the priority related uh, error message is gone but now it is complaining about hey i don't know uh, i need a minimal config for the stack so I'm then going to copy this and again define the value here. So how much stacked would we want? Well, I don't know, hex 100. That's what worked for me actually. Less than that leads to crashes. Uh, you can experiment, but I'm using hex uh, 100. And what's the value of one hex 100? Uh, 256, right? So 256 is the stack size that we're wanting to use. And then let me go ahead and do make clean, do make. Well, okay, is it complaining about stack? No, it's not complaining about stack. It's rather now complaining about max priorities. So what I encourage you to do now, I'm going to pause here, go ahead and see using the documentation if you can find what is a good value for the max priorities. And so I'll see you in the next lecture where we continue from here. All right, I'll see you in the next one.